Hello everyone, GameDog here, and welcome to Let's Play Shepherdmancer. Uh, this is a developer Let's Play. I actually made this game back in, uh, 2016. In fact, um, if I plan this right, this game will, or this video will go up on the five-year anniversary of this game. I cannot believe it's been five years since I made this. <laughs> this is just like a small little game I made in my free time that... I'm gonna be honest, I don't really think has aged that well, but there are some elements about it that I'm still relatively proud of. Let's go ahead and just start this. Oh god, okay. <laughs> the art is not an element I'm proud of! <laughs> there once lived a snake in a grand pasture in the mountains. He was a shepherd who tended to his 25 sheep. He doesn't make much money doing this, but it's a fun job that keeps him afloat. I mean, he's a snake, what, what, uh, what much does he really need? Oh god, table salt. So, how I did the sprites for this game is that I, I drew it, like, traditionally with pencil and paper, and then I literally just traced over that in, like, paint.net. And, okay, my art from the start isn't that great. I feel like I am constantly improving, but, like, I'm not, like, it's not my forte. I'm not a great artist. I just like drawing a lot of characters, and, um... <laughs> My digital art is even worse. However, one day there was an evil sorcerer by the name of Table Salt. And yes, I swear that's his actual name. He st oh god, he sneaks into the mountains and takes all the sheep. Every last one, the nerve of the guy. He takes them down to a big hole full of monsters. There are telephones. <laughs> this is of course this of course worries the snake a shepherd, so he calls up an old friend, a magic user of a funny looking head. Conveniently, he was actually taking a holiday in the area, so he decided to rush over to his friend's aid. The snake explained what happened. Did I spell that right? And his friend jumped into the hole, ready for adventure. And here we are. Um, you can quit the game if you want. <laughs> it's this is weird because I I don't. 100% remember everything about this game. You can only go left and right here. You're meant to go into this hole. Um, in every level, you must select from your collection of skills in order to counter the monsters ahead. You're told what's, what you're going to fight. It's all about selecting the right abilities for the job. Every floor consists of five consecutive battles. These battles are made up of monsters shown at the start of the level. All those battles you are after those battles, you are fully healed. <clears throat> award a new ability, and are then ready to take on the next challenge. Every level is something new in store. So this is, um, this is the structure of this game. It's not like a grand RPG with, like, a big story and everything. Instead, it's level-based. Uh, there are 25 stages in all, and I've shared this game with several friends over the years, and they told me that, like, it reminds them of Plants vs. Zombies in terms of structure. Which isn't really what I was going for, but I can totally see the comparison. So let's go ahead and start level 1. I'll explain how this works as we go into it. Before anyone asks, I'm not 100% certain what Shepherdmancer is meant to be either. That's the name of the character, by the way. Like, that's his job class, that's his name. He is the Shepherdmancer. Like, he's a guy with a funny-looking head. <laughs> he has kind of a stick ranger body, too, but like... Like, I don't know, man, he's got like a, like a, he's got like a pointed nose, but also like pig ears. It's a really weird design. So, we have, uh, we can select up to four skills, but we only have two skills as of right now. Examine, learn a little bit about your foe, doesn't use up a turn. And every skill also has an attack, a cooldown, and a scope. Uh, which is basically the damage it does. This is one of those RPGs where, like, you know, doing five damage is a big deal. So, you know, one damage isn't really that bad as of this point. I don't even really think there's, like, defense and stuff in this game. And, well, that's as good as our skills can get right now, so let's go ahead and start. Oh yeah, and all the music is Kevin McCloud stuff, too. <laughs> so here are our first enemy, the Teeny Bat. You know, while I don't really like the art... In, um, in this game, I really don't think the art is aged that well. The characters themselves I still kind of enjoy, to a point at which I still draw a lot of them even today. Particularly stuff like Table Salt and a few of the enemies in this game. Like, I don't know, man, I've even outright redesigned a few of these characters over time. If I ever make more games, I would love to do, like, a Final Fantasy thing where, like, I bring a lot of them back, but they have, like, new gimmicks and, like, new redesigns and stuff. So anyway, we have the Teeny Bat. Uh, one health. Weak to, weak to earth and immune to water. 
we don't really have anything that has um elements yet, so just 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 hit him. And there we go. Congratulations. This freaked some people out when I sent it to them uh, back in the day. The game is not glitching, you're not repeating the same battle, this is just battle two of this stage. Again, every stage consists of five consecutive battles. Now we have two of them. It starts extremely easy. And I'm kind of curious about something. What does guarding do again? Does guard, do guard give you utility? No, it just like takes up a turn. Oh, I remember. Guard is like useful for like when you have um when you have like too many cooldown weapons. Like it, it's kind of a last resort kind of thing. It doesn't lower the damage you take. Like every all the damage in this game is set. There's no like defense or anything. Also, I see an inconsistency with like the tutorial. You are not healed between battles. You're healed between stages. Uh, we have a new enemy, the Common Slime. Max health 2, weak to wind, immune to fire. I Wait, I should have attacked the Teeny Bat first. Right, they get one extra damage on me now as a result. Little strategies like that are what you want to keep in mind when you're playing this. Us sheep can give you helpful advice. We will also give you abilities you're bound to use. Take this heal spell. And you receive heal and a gold. Completing any stage will get- or completing- every level you complete, you'll save a sheep. And those sheep will give you one gold and also a skill you can use in the, in, a, in, a, in future floors. If this game looks interesting, by the way- Oh god, the gold ball! I remember the gold ball. <laughs> Young Fairy I've completely redesigned. It's now like a fox pixie, sort of. I don't know. <laughs> Once again, there's not really much we can do in terms of, like, loadouts. So let's just go ahead and do this. If this game interests you, by the way, um, it's it's 49 cents on my ish.io page. Which, honestly, I think is kind of fair for this game, because, like, again, I, there are elements I'm not really proud of anymore, but, like, I still... Put like a good summer's work into this, you know? <laughs> there we go. Wow, some of these are even like the exact same formation as earlier. Okay, um... Oh wait, not heal, not heal, not yet. Oh, it's called the Young Spirit, right. I thought it was Young Fairy. Weak to Earth, immune to water. I think this enemy can heal other units. Also, let's go ahead and use heal ourselves. Actually, I'm gonna let you do one more damage to me. Taking damage is very- yeah, they can heal each other. It, they heal one. <laughs> Everything in this game goes on like a strict pattern. Like, you might notice that this fairy is going back and forth between like healing and like, um, healing and attacking. Nothing is really up to randomness in this game. Everything has a pattern. There's always like, and you know, I think this kind of adds to like the puzzle element of the game. Like, if you ever lose to this game, it's not because of R or lose in this game, it's not because of RNG. It's because like, you know, there's a pattern you haven't really learned yet. Like, a pattern here, or not really a pattern, but like, something smart to do here, or like a little strategy. Take out the teeny bats first. So now these enemies are doing two damage to me instead of just one per turn. And now this uh, team is doing one damage to me per turn. Oh, okay, this enemy, like, um... I think this enemy alternates between attacking and guarding. I think Gold Ball is like, Earth Elemented. Yeah, weak to fire, immune to wind. Enemies have, like, elements and that that dictates, like, what they're weak and immune to. Um, it's, it's basically just, like, earth, fire, wind, water. Like, earth is weak to fire, fire is weak to water, water is weak to wind, and wind is weak to earth. And if, if it goes the other way, enemies straight up take no damage. If you hit a weakness, I think it does, like, double damage. So, you know, given how low the damage numbers are in this game, that is something you want to watch out for. Oh wow, kind of like for you, guarding is just like a waste of a turn for the enemy. 
And there we go. Most skills have cooldowns. Use your abilities wisely. <laughs> they, they give you advice too, but some advice is better than others. That little staff there, it's not like a weapon an enemy holds, like that's an actual enemy. And this is our first time using a full team. We have Double Strike now. Attacks twice, has a cooldown of two, and it hits one enemy twice. Okay, we've seen plenty of teeny bats up to this point. You're gonna heal yourself- oh wait, no, if I use Double Strike... There we go. Although I'm not gonna have that ability ready for this one. Yeah, and I could have taken out, like, say, the slime in one hit. But no, I have to wait for that to, to like, cool down first. I say we just take, uh, take care of the common slime. Yeah, we're gonna take a lot of damage here, but it should be fine. Do that to you. You're gonna guard. I'm gonna heal? Wait, no, no, no. Do a double strike first. You're gonna attack me. We're gonna heal, because you're gonna guard this turn, so it's not like I'm wasting any, any health here. And then we're gonna attack again. I forgot what this enemy did. Um... I want to say it also heals. You know, this is actually, like, something I wish people... Well, it's not like many people have even, like, played this. I know there is one person who has Let's Played this game. I think her name is Little Royce. I don't think she does YouTube anymore, but... She did, like, a bunch of, like, RPG Maker games a few years ago, and I, I sent her this one because I wanted to see someone try my game <laughs> on YouTube. I mean, people send me enough games. I think it's about time it, it, it works the other way around. <laughs> If you if you're if you let's play RPG Maker games and you want to try this out, feel free to reach out. I'll, I'll give you like a free copy if you want. You know, like it's. But yeah, I, I feel like part of the intended way to play this game is to actually lose as you um. Okay, yeah. So the wand heals every turn. Part of the intended way of playing this game, in my opinion, is to actually. Like, you're kind of meant to lose, especially to enemies later in, because enemies later in get really nasty. Now, I don't have a skill for you, but I can allow you to save back at the pasture. You should save your game often. Oh god, did I really... You have to unlock saving? Why would I do that? <laughs> I don't know why, but that height distance... Height difference feels weird to me looking at it nowadays. Sheep. <laughs> Sheep are my favorite animal, by the way. So that kind of that kind of explains like I don't know everything. <laughs> That's why your character is the shepherd mancer. Ooh, a devil enemy. I forgot what that did. We have like a devil and or um we have like you know you save sheep like the the villain wants to kidnap sheep. Like, your character is the Shepherd Mancer. We all know what a Shepherd Mancer is, we just know that he is one. Teeny Bats are free kills. Okay, um... Take out the Large Wand. Because that's going to heal every other turn, and like, if I just chip away at them with one health, um... You're just going to heal whatever I throw at you. So I guess, or yeah, yeah. Inconsequential hero. Heal. So you're going to attack me. You always go before enemies too, which is good to keep in mind as you're playing this. Okay, you have four health. Dual wielder. You know, in hindsight, I should have, like, given some flavor text on, like, what each enemy does. Or, like, a hint as to what it does. Though maybe that would have been a little too advanced for me. <laughs> I'm not good at making games, I just play a lot of them for YouTube. 
Oh, you alternate between a normal attack and a double strike. That's kind of tough, actually. Let's heal that up before we go on to the next uh, part of the stage. And I, I lost track. I think this is the second to last one. Oh, no, that was the last one. After I teach you my spell, you will have more than four spells. You will now have to choose what you bring into a given floor. Minor Cave and one gold. You starting to see the Plants vs. Zombies semblance too? Like, again, I did not intend this when I made this game, but I totally see the comparison when people, like, compared it to that. Like, they, they tell you what you're gonna fight right at the start of the stage. You have a set number of, uh, like, uh, plants, or in this case, skills that you have to bring in. Some skills are better for certain enemies over others. It's all about, like, prioritizing. Some enemies are way harder to deal with than others, so, like, if you don't have enough spaces for all the skills you're gonna need... Oh, I forget, I remember the backpack. <laughs> if you don't have all the skills for everything you're gonna need, you're gonna have to prioritize them. So, this enemy, I think, is called the Cavernous Backpack. <laughs> God, even back in 2016, I was huge on, like, weird monsters. You know, in hindsight, I should have made Examine, like, a part of your main moveset. Because, like, I don't know, maybe this was to emphasize, like, that you should die to, like, hard enemies before trying again. So you can, like, learn what they're weak and strong to before you go in, but... I... Mm, I don't know. To <laughs> slow down RPG Maker music. <laughs> So, if I remember correctly, the gimmick of this enemy is that, yep, it can create teeny bats. Um, it's just a backpack with a load of bats inside of it. <laughs> now this attack, small rocks fall from the ceiling, hits everyone. This is our first instance of a group hit. And, well, this is the intended way to fight this thing. It can also poison you as well, and I don't think there's a way to... Oh no, heal also cures poison. Poison does exactly one health per turn. So, once again, you can very much plan around this. And honestly, I don't think I'll have to heal that. I'll just take you out. <laughs> just watch a backpack, like, die the way bosses do in RPG Maker. <laughs> and there we go. There's the first boss out of the way. Poison is a great status to inflict. Try using it on foes with lots of health, and we get Poison Breath and 1 Gold. I'm not sure if you noticed yet, but every single sheep has a different facial expression. <laughs> what I did is I just made like five different eye shapes for sheep, and then five different mouth shapes, and then I just kind of shuffled them and then like randomized them for all the stages. I do remember that. <laughs> Oh, the grass. <laughs> God, these enemies are coming back. Ah, oh, the monsters in this game are so weird. Okay, um... Now we're getting to a point of... This is where the game takes off, like, the, uh, the training wheel, so to say. Like, this is when the game is gonna start throwing weirder enemies, and it's kind of expected you might die a couple times uh, when trying to do a stage. Death is kind of a slap on the wrist in this game. Or actually, let me... Wait... I didn't know you could do that. Um, oops, I am fighting with no skills. I am going to lose this. <laughs> Discover an oversight in my own game. I sort of assumed that hitting back would actually take me back to the stage select screen, but apparently not. Oh, this is embarrassing. Every five stages, the, um... Looks like we might have to try harder next time. 
<laughs> Every five stages, um, the battle, uh, the battle, um, uh, the, the battle theme changes as well. All of them are just, oh my god, how did I not think that looked weird? They're all, like, just Kevin McCloud music. I'm not even kidding. Like, <laughs> it's... I mean, that's valid. Like, I like Kevin McCloud music. Like, I think Kevin McCloud music is, like, legitimately good sometimes. I mean, a lot of the times. He makes good music, but, like, the thing is, you hear it in so many things that, like, it sometimes doesn't feel that special sometimes. I'm gonna take Minor Cave just in case. I can always guard if I run out of cooldowns on stuff. It's kind of a similar deal I have with, like, default RPG Maker stuff as well. Like, the music and assets are really professionally done. But the thing is, you you see them in freaking everything, so it feels like most people just take them for granted. Am I gonna use a group hit just to deal some damage? Yes, I am. Oh, I should have done that first. I did not prioritize that fight correctly. I can just kill the wand outright to start. We'll poison breath you. And then we'll heal ourselves. And then you'll die at the end of this turn. Yeah, you can die to slip damage in this game. And that's that's very much a part of the design. Like you are meant to um There are some enemies that have like a ton of health, so you really are meant to poison them. If I do this, Grass Blade, <laughs> I unironically think this enemy is kind of clever, right? Like, come on, it's it's a blade of grass, like, <laughs> it's... With arms. Oh, that's the easiest setup I've ever seen, okay. <laughs> now for this one. Poison the Grass Blade. Kill yourself. Oh! Okay, now here's the real question. Does the fairy healing only itself and not what actually needs um healing in oversight, or was that intentional? Because honestly, the scope of this game is so small, and I'm so incompetent of a game developer that I would honestly believe both. <laughs> it's... What has a lesser cooldown? This does not have a cooldown, actually. Oh, that's actually perfect. I'll be able to heal now. Get some health back before the next fight. And there we go. Some enemies in this area have weaknesses to certain elements. Exposing it will cause double damage. Fireball. Okay, so that's our first elemental spell. That thing is, like, a little knot of wood. That's what that's supposed to be. <laughs> that might be one of the worst sprites in this game. <laughs> okay, so Fireball... Now, okay, you can take Examine in to learn about the enemy weaknesses, but I'm gonna be honest, I feel like a lot of them are kind of obvious. Like, you know, the wood monster is weak to fire, the... the grass monster is weak to fire. The slime is immune to fire because it is water elemented, you know. I think the gold ball is also weak to fire. You don't really learn these weaknesses in the first round because, you know, you don't really need them or the first, like, set of five levels. I'll take poison breath. Heal is always a must. And I'm actually going to take double strike. Okay, um... So, if this is his weakness, it's gonna do 4 damage. It is, okay. That's got a cooldown. Good. I should have brought Minor Cave in. Okay. I don't think the fairies are immune to fire. I 
I'm going to take two damage, or three damage. No, 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 because the fairy attacked last turn, so I'm going to take two damage this time, because the fairy's going to heal this turn. I'll be down to three health. I heal now. No, I think it's more worth it to just take one of them out right now. Although they're going to be able to attack first. You're going to heal yourself. Now we heal ourselves. Double strike the fairy. The spirit. Blast him. There we go. I'm going to take two damage here, but then there'll only be one left and I'll be able to heal. And blast him. And I think this is the last one. Okay, here's here's a beginner's trap that you might lose to, honestly. <laughs> it's because you're you're riding the stage like, oh, like there's a bunch of stuff here weak to fire. This is gonna be easy, but oh wait, this is a water elemented monster, so it's actually immune to fire. Yeah, case in point. Zero damage. Weaknesses are important in this game. Discovering and taking advantage of weaknesses is great, but if a monster is strong against an element, they will take no damage. Fire screen. Fire screen is not a defensive ability from what I remember. What is that? I don't remember that enemy. What is that supposed to be, even? <laughs> oh, it's a group hit. Okay. I take it I'm meant to bring that in. I'll bring the other group hit in. Heal is a must, and also... Or bring in Double Strike. I'm gonna assume it's weak, or it's, um... It's immune to, uh, to water, or to fire, based on the color. I remember I tried to make that kind of obvious. Yeah, it does run damage normally, but yeah, why did I just use the smoke the smoke effect for that attack? <laughs> oh, this one's kind of tricky. Um, Alright, this will... Dual Wilder is probably fire elemented, and elements don't resist themselves in this game. So this should do one. Oh wait, no, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that will... Just in case I need an emergency, like, group hit, I'm, I'm gonna use Double Strike here instead. Man, I wouldn't say I needed a group hit. I don't... Like, neither of those skills would have one-shot these, but whatever. And I'm pretty sure Gold Ball is, um... Okay, they're guarding now. They're weak to fire, so yeah. God, this is a surreal experience. Like, playing a game you made, like, five years ago and, like, kind of remember stuff about. Well, Minor Cave is good here. I'm gonna need a double strike though, because you heal yourself every turn. There we go. This is gonna be rough. Um. Okay. Are they immune to fire? I mean, I'm gonna use fire screen next turn. 
I'm actually gonna guard here. This is an instance where, like... Okay, we're gonna take six damage here. This is an instance where, um... We're like guarding, bringing bringing uh, stuff in with like too high of a value or too high of a cooldown can come back to bite you because like heal wouldn't have done anything and plus I really want to heal right now and like everything else was still recharging so I had no choice but to guard there. I have four health. If this kills, this will kill the four of them because remember nothing in this game is up to randomness. And unless they have like a double strike in the back of their pockets, I think I've won this one. So I'll be able to heal next turn, they'll be able to use Miter Cave. They are immune to fire, okay, so they are water elemented. So heal yourself here. Also, it looks like they, like, alternate between attacking and guarding, which is even better. Okay, cool. <laughs> like, even moments like that, like, you know, you're given, like, a fire group hit, but, like, you know, they throw in one enemy that's, like, immune to fire. And the last sheep told you that some enemies are immune to certain elements, too. Like, see, there's nuggets of good game design in here. Like, <laughs> this is kind of what I was saying when I said, like, there are parts of this game I am I am proud of. You sure do like to see what you're up against before you charge into a floor. Use this to your advantage and take skills that are good for the enemies of the floor. Poison Gate and one gold. I think Poison Gate is like a group poison hit. That's a freaky looking enemy. God, oh. <laughs> God I, I don't remember like a lot of these enemies. Like, I kind of like the design of that. It's almost like a stick ranger enemy. Poison's everything. Yeah, I, I did remember that correctly at the very least. Weak Hunter, I'm gonna assume that like, it's light blue, so it might be water elemented. So fire screen and fireball you should not take into the stage. The fact that there are two weak hunters probably tells you that, like, they fight in a group, so bring Minor Cave. I, I should have called this, like, Minor Cave In. Like, that's a weird name for a skill like that. Heal is a must. Oh, okay, we have a, uh, we have a large wand, so bring, bring Double Strike. Yeah, because that thing heals itself every turn, so if you only have attacks that do one damage, you the fight is literally impossible. Actually, I did program a way to, like, escape battles, right? I did, I did, okay. Well, that's how I could have escaped during that one time I went in with no skills. Waterfalls? What? <laughs> what are these animations? Like, <laughs> it's... ooh, um, heal. Minor cave in. Neon ice. That's a freaky- I kind of want to draw that thing again. I completely forgot about this thing. <laughs> okay, obviously a group heal is the way here. Or a group hit is the way. Oh yeah, there are no group heals in this game. You just have Shepherd Mancer the whole game. And also there's like no level ups in this game either. Like you're stuck at 10 health the whole game. Okay, I need double strike to be charged. There we go. I'm gonna poison them. Ooh! Okay, you alternate between a single strike and a triple strike! Oh, and there you go. There, there's what every element is weak to if you need it. 
Column. I think that's an Earth skill. Our first of that kind. Oh, I remember this thing, the Vampiric Mushroom. It's weak to fire, I also remember that too. Mash a single enemy of a giant column. So it's kind of like just an earth-based fireball. Maybe something like that will do it. That has a cooldown of 5, when the normal poison has a cooldown of 0. Oh no, it's the Mushroom Vampire, not the Vampiric Mushroom. Despite being a mushroom, it is uh, it is susceptible to poison. And this enemy can steal health from you, which is why it's important to get poison on it. Yeah, 25 health is the most we've seen of an enemy so far. This does 4 damage, though. I remember this enemy being kind of easy, actually. Like, he probably just alternates between just doing Vampiric Strike and Double Strike. I did not need to do that. Oh, we won anyway. And there's the boss. That, that's the second boss. Whoa, who are you? I don't have a skill to give you, but I can sell you things back at the pasture. And by things, I mean one thing. <laughs> there are no level ups in this game, but there is a single thing you can upgrade. How can I help you? For 10 gold, I can grant you an extra equip slot. Alright, you can now equip 5 skills at once. Don't toy with me, you don't have enough gold. Oh my god. Uh, oh. And yeah, now we can equip 5 skills at once, which is kind of neat. We'll start World 3. I personally kind of see each row as a different world, even though like really nothing changes about them aside from the enemies you fight in the music. God, that is such a bad run cycle. Oh, I remember the cloud. Um, The cloud is... It's definitely a wind-elemented guy, so Column is probably something you'll want to bring in. Oh god, the Horseshoe Crab! I remember that enemy too. That thing is a nasty gimmick. Um, It's also water-elemented, like the other three enemies, so don't bring Fireball- er, Nah, 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 nah. Grass Blade you can take out in other ways. Maybe Poison Gate? We didn't get to use it last, uh, last stage, so it might be better use here. Heal is a must. Double strike. And also, kind of like in Plants vs. Zombies, you can increase um, the amount of, like, plants you can bring in as well. Like, again, I did not intend that at all, but, like, yeah, it <laughs> it's basically Plants vs. Zombies, but an RPG. I got Poison Gate on me. I don't need Poison Breath. Maybe Minor Cave? Uh, weak Hunters tend to attack in groups. Yeah, that should be good. That's not a bad animation considering what I had to work with. <laughs> it's at least in my opinion. Okay, okay, so... 
I'm hitting left a bunch of times right now. The horseshoe crab's gimmick is that, um, it has taunt. So basically, you can't hit it. Well, you can hit it with group hits, and that is a way to, like, circumvent this strat, or this, um, this gimmick. God, this is a weird design I always wanted to play around with more. Like, horseshoe crabs are super cool animals. Like, you actually, we actually have them in Maine, like, the place I'm from. They're, like, ancient... They're, like, ancient crabs that are shaped like horseshoes. That's why they get that name. <laughs> they're from, like, prehistoric times. Like, they're really... They're considered, like, one of those living fossil kind of animals. And this one, it's, like... I'm not even quite sure what the sprite is meant to be. It looks like it's wearing, like, an explorer's jacket or something. I don't know, like I said, I like to play around with this design some more at some point. Okay, this one is particularly nasty because, um... Neon Ice can hit three times next turn. I think I'll just have to take the three hits, so I'm gonna be at six health at the end of this fight. Hopefully that's enough. Oh no, I got to attack before he attacks. Right, you always go first in this game. Uh, 30 health! <laughs> it is weak to earth, and it can poison you. And I think I meant that as a clue that, like, you're really meant to poison this enemy. Yeah, this enemy just alternates between, like, poisoning and attack, or and defending. So it's not like it has much offense to it, but, like, it is still quite annoying with that, um, with that much health. The last monster, it looks like it gave you some trouble. Why don't you use this skill? It deals percentage-based damage. Grand Magnet. Huh. <laughs> so even that was intentional, making that enemy annoying. Wow. Hmm. I'm gonna finish World 3. I was gonna say we're about half, or we're a little over halfway done, but like... The later stages do take a little longer just because they are harder. How much gold do I have, by the way? I only have one, okay. These little guys here, like the sheep, I call them the cheer sheep. I don't know, it's just kind of a fun name for me. And like, I would love to have these things return in like future stuff I make if I ever make more games and like... Their gimmick is that they would be, like, sort of fourth wall breaky and also act as save points. <laughs> and also, like, give you hints, kind of like they do in this game. I don't know. I, I always love when, like, the save point is personified, you know? Oh, that, that enemy, the poison snake. N not the poison snake, the poisoned snake. I remember that enemy's gimmick and it's kind of funny. Halves a monster's health rounded up. 50% of health, cooldown of zero, uh, 2, 1 enemy. I don't think it works on bosses, and I should have mentioned that in the description of it. Um, okay. I see the staff there, so I should bring at least like one thing that does at least 2 damage. I think it's Earth Elemented 2, so it'll take more damage from fire. Would that work? I'm gonna bring Double Strike. You're Water Element, so that would not work. I... just heal yourself. Yeah, I don't want to be at 6 health going into the next battle. 
10 health? Seems like a lot for something like that. Oh, right, okay, the reason why it does have 10 health is because, uh, this is one of rare, e one of the rare enemies in this game that starts with a status ailment, and it starts poisoned. Um, which is why it's called the Poisoned Snake instead of the Poison Snake, or something. <laughs> I I'm a little more proud of this enemy than I probably should be, let's be real here. Like, <laughs> it's, like, I think that's a funny gimmick. It can't even poison you in return, like, it's just, it's just poisoned all the time. I actually, like, redrew that enemy semi-recently, and I, I think I kind of like its redesign a little more. Okay, right off the bat, I should Poison Gate these, and then use, um, Grand Magnet on the Cloud. Huh? Oh, they're water elemented. I did not expect that actually. Wow, surprises everywhere. <laughs> Maybe that's why bringing examine would be helpful. It's rounded up, so that would not kill. I'm at five health. I'm just gonna use this. I forgot if the cloud healed me or like. Poisoned me or guarded last turn. Okay, it guarded, so whatever, just get that poison back on. I'm gonna have to wait for Double Strike to recharge in order to kill that wand. And there we go. Wind is not resistant to fire or immune to fire, so yeah, that'll kill. Great, it's always great being at full health when you enter a new fight. I can tell you this stage was designed for a fire screen. We'll use Poison Gate instead. Oh, that's nasty. Um, please tell me I have heal ready. Okay, good. So I'll just I'll just tank the hits and then like the root uh the the, like, root rings will be killed off by poison this turn. There we go. Okay, that's a lot easier to deal with. I right, hold on. Guard. And then heal this turn. Don't go into the next fight with, like, four health. And honestly, I'm just... Uh... Double strike. Okay, I think this is the last one. This is a good target for Poison Gate. That Grand Magnet skill doesn't work on bosses. Oh, the game does tell you that. Okay. Well, you think they would make it that easy? Tornado. I think that's a group hit. I think that's like a wind group hit. Uh, which is weird, because they give you that before the, um... <laughs> they give you that before, like, the wind single hit spell. I don't remember that enemy either, that like seashell looking thing. A wind attack hits all enemies, attacks once, twice. 
Okay, so instead of doing like two damage to everyone, it does like one damage twice to everyone. That feels like a little more powerful than Fire Screen. Oh, it has a higher cooldown to compensate. Okay, I see the Cumulus, or the, um, the, like, Cloud Monster thing, whatever it was called. So let's bring Poison Gate along again. And Grand Magnet. And I see the Wand, so let's bring Double Strike as well. Uh, well, right off the bat. Yep, there we go. Those are water elemented, so that does do double damage to them. This will do two, and then I can hit you with double strike. And that'll kill you. I should have... Oh, wait, no, I can use Poison Gate to at least kill the weak hunters. I, you know, I might as well test this. Is this gonna do zero damage? No, it actually... Yeah, okay, it rounds up, right, not down. Okay, what is that enemy's gimmick? Seashell Flame. Like, what element? Is it fire or water? It's fire, because if it was water, that would have done double damage. Okay, you again. I think this is the last stage. Yeah, it is. Have you been going to the shop? I recommend you buy an equipment slot upgrade or two. Wave, that's probably the, the group hit water spell. Is that like the game telling me that I probably have enough gold for another one now? Okay, more of the same. I see multiple of those, so I should probably bring this along. I might as well bring Wave, because the game just gave it to me. And have Water Attack that hits all enemies. It does one damage. Heal. Um... Hmm... We Poison Gate again? We don't have the Cloud for one, so Grand Magnet isn't really needed. Thinking about it, Poison Gate might not be needed that, that much either. How about Fireball? That might work. So those are Fire Elemented. Yes, they are. Okay.
Tornado again. Did we ever learn what your weakness is? It's not water. I thought it would be because you're like a devil. You're weak to fire? That wasn't my guess, but okay, I guess. Oh, this is going to be a little rough. Um, I might as well kill one of these just so I take a little less damage. After this, I'll be able to blast them all with the uh, with, with Tornado. Yeah, I could heal this turn, but they're going to bring me down to 6 health after that anyway, so... I might as well heal them. Oh, that was the last one. Nothing is stopping you from leaving your normal attack behind. I think I put that there, because I, I sort of expected that some players might, like, keep the default strike on them for as long as possible, because they're like, oh, it's the default attack that's probably smart to have, but... A few people I have seen play this game don't do that, so maybe that was not really a smart thing to put in there. <laughs> or, like, useless information to put in there. I don't know, I can always respect a game that, like, drip feeds you information, like, important information. So I kind of tried to emulate that myself. It's like, not everything is a huge revelation, but it, it might be a nice reminder to something you might have forgotten about, or something you might not be doing that you should. Oh god, the Blanket Octopus. Look up what this thing is in real life, by the way. These things look really cool. An attack that can sap health. It has a cooldown of 1, so you can only use it every other turn. I can tell you it's probably weak to Tornado. I think I remember this enemy's gimmick, too. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't work on bosses. I almost forgot to bring heal. <laughs> so 20 health. I think this is actually the lowest health we've seen on a boss so far. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. The, um, the backpack had 10 health. And the mushroom had fit, had 25. This thing just has 20. Okay, basic start so far. Okay, so that's this enemy's gimmick. Um, it can summon tentacles. And they, th from what I remember, they're just like basic enemies that can just do one damage. So it basically has an identical gimmick to... Oh. It basically has an identical gimmick to, um... Uh, to the backpack. Although, it can do that thing on you, uh, like... I think it was called, like, Tentacle Hold or something. I think that saps health. Which is why Vampirica Strike is important for this fight. I think the intended way of doing this boss is to kind of, like, fight it in terms of, like, how much health you can sap out of each other. Oh god! Oh wait! Oh, they must guard and then attack. There's no reason to poison gate them. The boss is already poisoned. I think you do need to kill all the enemies, like you can't just kill the boss. Yeah, okay, they guard and then attack. Now hear me out. Um Oh god, okay, they're gonna do five damage. You have you're gonna be down to three after this. What I'm thinking is, like, he can grow him back next turn. I forgot where he is in his rotation. I think this boss rotates between, like, three different attacks. 
So if the next attack is gonna do, it's gonna do is regrow. I was thinking like, oh, I could just wait for it to do that, cause like you know the enemies are already here. He can't summon more than four. I think that I think he can't summon more than four. So he would basically just waste a turn there, and I could just deal like a lot of damage over time. But thinking about it again, if I do this, he's gonna be down to three health. If he's not on that part of the rotation, he's or the rotation of attacks, he's just, the like worst he can do is that vampiric hold, which will put me down to four. I can heal next turn. And then between the poison, I can just blast him with another double strike. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I didn't even need to double strike him. Make sure you can keep track of your cooldowns. If you can't use a skill, you're forced to wait a turn out. Vampire Hold. So now you get that skill he was using. <laughs> but you don't use tentacles to do it. You use, like... I don't know, like... <laughs> it's... How does he do half these skills? I don't know, man. Like, Shepherd Mancer is weird. I kind of like him for that. He's a very me kind of character. Okay, we can now equip six skills at once. I have to pay for retirement somehow. I can't keep this away for free. Oh my god. I love and hate my old school writing. I don't know, man. Like... Okay, <laughs> it's... Well, uh, that was Shepherd Mancer. We're, we're gonna play this all the way through. I think this is just a good stopping point for this episode. So, yeah. I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.